Hi, I am Ali Ahmed. In this video, we are going to discuss different stages or phases involved in vCenter server upgrade. So let's get started. In this video series, we are going to demonstrate upgrade uh, from 6.0 to 6.5. The stages which are there from 6.0 to 6.5 will be the same uh, even if you are upgrading from 5.5 to 6.5. So just for the demonstration we have selected 6.0 to 6.5. So when whenever we hit upgrade we attach media to vCenter uh, server uh, which is running on Windows and hit upgrade the very first stage which takes place is uh, pre-install check stage. At, at this stage, a system will uh, look at the system uh, uh, requirement as well as it will also look uh, upgrade requirement whether your vCenter server uh, meets those requirements or not. Then the system will move into install um, start stage. This is pretty much just a, a stage where these, this stage actually engage other stages for example it will just move the uh, installer to uh, verify packages stage then in this stage installer will go ahead verify the packages based on the selection you made let's say if it was a 6.5 embedded then it would go ahead and verify the packages required for, for embedded if it was vCenter server only then it will go ahead and verify the packages required for vCenter server. Then uh, once the verification of the packages has been done, installer will move into export phase which is a new phase when you have you are going to compare with install phases involved in vCenter server. So at this stage installer will go ahead and export um, all the configuration which which is already there for for uh, let's say in this case 6.0 vcenter server into a export directory and then once the export has been completed installer will go ahead and move into uh, uninstall phase at this stage in this case uh, installer will go ahead and uninstall all the uh, you know uh, vcenter server setup from uh, the windows then installer will move into write setting phase where installer will create a setting.json file uh, based on uh, the information it collected uh, from a probing and from the user. Then installer will go ahead and do a load package, um, you know, uh, move into load package stage and uh, it will start loading the packages which, which it has to in install. Uh, it will you know save the packages uh, locally on the windows from there it will go ahead and uh, run those packages uh, as per the requirement then once the packages has been loaded uh, installer will move into install packages stage this is the real stage where the uh, the installation of msi packages uh, will take place so at this stage uh, the installation of MS msi package packages will be completed and then installer will move into the next stage which is known as uh, configure package stage or first boot stage. Once uh, installer move into this phase it will go ahead and you know configure all the components uh, which were installed in previous phase. Then installer will move into import phase where installer will uh, import uh, all, the, uh, all the file which he actually exported at export phase. So once export phase finishes then uh, installer will move into install end phase where the installer will uh, do a cleanup of a not required file so and uh, it will call the upgrade uh, successful. So that was an overview of all the stages involved in, in vCenter server upgrade process. In next video, let's do a deep dive analysis of stage 1 which is pre-installed check. Thank you.